Hello, and welcome to the tour of my wheelchair. Many people have expressed interest in knowing more about how my chair works, and it's funny because my chair is such a normal part of my everyday life. It feels the same as if I went up to someone and was like, how do your legs work? Like, it's just not interesting to me, but I can understand how it's interesting to other people because it's a very expensive and complex yeah. piece of machinery. So let's break down every aspect of my chair. All right, let's start in the front area of the wheelchair with Shane's feet rests as our first stop on the tour. The most important part. <laughs> I'm not in the shot at all. Shane's feet rests are well known to be a catch-all for food and other objects that he might drop. They sit right below my mouth, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty gross. They're hard to clean because they're a sandpaper sort of material. Oh, look, you found some food. Yep. As you'll see, one foot rest is higher than the other foot rest. That is because Shane broke one of his legs. <laughs> it's shorter than the other. Long story short, uh, in 11th grade gym class, I was playing soccer, ran over the ball, flipped out of my chair, and snapped my femur right in half after all kinds of uh, complications with the surgeons. They decided that they were not going to set the bone in the correct way. How does it kind of like, here, can you give an example? Like, if, yeah, the bone slid up over itself, and rather than pull it apart and risk uh, breaking all my muscles. They just casted it, broken over itself. So now <laughs> my right leg is really short compared to my other leg. That's funny. Yeah. You might be wondering why Shane flipped out of his chair in gym class and it's because he wasn't wearing his straps. He was just racing around playing soccer without his straps on. Whoops. My feet rest also fold to let my boys flap around in the wind. These are also my number one defense mechanism, allowing me to take out the legs of any adversary. Our next stop is Shane's wheels. Now, these are not filled with air. They are filled with styrofoam. They're very hardy and durable. I used to have air tires and they popped all the time. It was the dumbest idea for a wheelchair to have air filled wheels. And they always popped at the most inconvenient time, like on the first day of a vacation, when we're a hundred or a thousand miles from home and don't have a replacement with us. One thing that I really don't like about my wheels is that they're old and insurance doesn't replace them very often, so the treads are really worn down, so I get no traction. And in the winter, here in Minnesota, when it's snowy, I get even worse traction. It's basically like being on ice skates. Shane's controller has a lot of buttons. Most of them are useless. We have the on-off button. We have the headlights, which I do not have because insurance wouldn't pay for that. We have the horn. Oh, yes. <laughs> that is his horn. Excuse me. Pardon. We have the four ways, which insurance would not pay for. But they gave me the button. We have the mode button that allows me to do a variety of tilting and raising and tipping functions. Here, I'll show you. I'm stuck. In case I ever become immobile, incapacitated, Hannah is able to adjust me as well. Light's a little bit weird with these for some reason, so we're gonna tilt them forward. I see that that is one of the great options. Can you show them how my feet can go up and down? Yeah, so Shane can do any of this or I can do any of it on these buttons. So then this one is for feet. All right, break your knees. any further you'll snap my hammies. <laughs> and then the last one. You want to bring your feet in? Yeah. You can put my head up and I'll do the last one. <laughs> we can't do this one very far. Or I'll fall. 
Well, you have your straps on too, so it's I yanking know. you back. <laughs> but the backrest moves independent of the seat. We have profile. No idea what that does. We have the left and right blinker. Don't have blinkers. That was not given to me by insurance. We have these buttons which adjust the speed. And then we have an alternative on off switch because I actually can't reach the real on off switch. It's too far away from my hand. So we added this one to make it easier. Here's Shane's joystick. This is how he grips onto it with his two fingers and his other hand sort of gives him some support. I like that you're demonstrating it, not me. I know. <laughs> this is actually just a top. So that's the real joystick. This is literally just like a, yeah. But this is a lot easier to hold than that tiny little thing. So you can get any number of different, is it all the way on? I don't know. Yeah. Different attachments for that top thing. We can move Shane's controller out of the way by pushing down this button and pushing the controller out. This is useful for eating, using his laptop, lifting him out of the chair. We move it for a lot of things, anytime you're not moving, basically. You're probably like, what is that rubber thing that you've got on top of there? <laughs> yeah, we have a little attachment on there. It's actually, it was found on the floor of my garage, and it was originally uh, a little rubber foot for a ladder. But for Shane, it's a support for his elbow. We repurposed it. Yeah, we needed one, and it was perfect, so we velcroed it on there. Reuse, recycle. Reduce, reduce, Re reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. DIY wheelchair improvements with Shane and Hannah, with Spermium rubs. <laughs> reduce, reuse, oh my reuse. <laughs> my seat is made of styrofoam on the bottom and then a layer of gel on the top that actually forms to the exact shape of my butt. If you are ever finding yourself wanting an exact replica of my sphincter, <laughs> all you have to do is steal my seat, and you will have that. Show them how the airport security people pat me down. Sir, I am now going to place my right hand under your buttock. Uh -huh. And normally when they're doing this, I go, oh yes, oh. Mm. Shane's seat is actually really annoying because the gel pad, it's like a plastic, it's gel and plastic basically, just a square of a, gel. A bag of gel. A bag of gel basically. And a couple months ago, it popped. So gel was everywhere. And, and then Shane was sitting on styrofoam, which if you can imagine, isn't very comfortable. All day. The process to replace my seat took months. Months. Because of insurance and cost. Yeah, they had um, to approve it. We had to go to an actual place to ask them to give us a new gel pack. That costs like $300 to have that consultation. Then the gel pack costs like $600 and it shipped in three months, maybe? Yeah, they were pretty like quick. That. Thankfully, there was a family in, I believe, Kansas City who read one of my posts about the difficulties I was having, and they mailed me a backup uh, seat that they had for their chair. Yeah. So that, was that so nice. kindness was amazing. And it, it really helped. Hip. Yeah. yeah. My hip was like real messed up for a while yeah. because of that seat. Yeah. The backrest in my chair, I don't really even use because I lean forward and my straps kind of hold me up so I don't even know what it feels like. Um, it's nice because all that extra space back there creates a perfect area to store items. Let's see what we find back there today. A water bottle, our TV remote, glasses, a lollipop, a lighter, junior mints, ducky, when I first met Shane, his headrest was about 6 to 12 inches behind his head, depending on how he was sitting. Way too far back. So every time my head fell back... It I, fell completely. I didn't even lift it up on my own. It didn't touch the headrest ever. So the headrest was pointless. And I was like, no, this is fine. Because I don't like making changes to improve my yeah. comfort. You know how many changes I've made to him to make his life a little bit more comfortable? It's actually absurd. And I've met all of them with stubbornness and resistance. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, this is nice. So this is one of them. Uh, I put on here a memory foam that I stabbed with scissors. We actually have photos of that. We should put one in. Oh, uh, yeah. That I stabbed with scissors and threaded ribbon through. Um, this was way before our vlog. This was like two or yeah. two and a half years ago, maybe. 
uh, and then I tied that ribbon onto the actual headrest, so it was a, a pretty good memory foam. It wasn't quite enough. So then I put another memory foam in front of that, and to hold them together, my mom actually sewed this black fleecy cover, which is really nice to get her. So now it's inconspicuous, it holds them together, it's thick, and it's usable. It makes me blend right in with my environment. Where is she? The pouch on the side of my chair is really handy. It holds all of my items that I use during the day, and by that, I mean all the items that Hannah uses during the day. It's my pouch. So I have my wallet in there, and then we have candy and lipstick and lip gloss. <laughs> Chapstick. Chapstick. My gum. My ibuprofen in case I get a headache. I use that sometimes. Yeah. When you give me Your tic tacs are in here. My tissues. I need tissues. Why don't you? You never carried anything around before me. I don't understand why. A pen, just in case. Old M and M. Receipts. <laughs> <laughs> it's too small though, we need a bigger one. Yeah, we do. On my armrest, my pop-up actually helped me build this extra armrest extender that makes my armrest come closer to my body so that my arm can be on it the right way. Then we added this yellow towel over it, which makes it more comfortable. That towel's been on there for a long time, so that probably smells. Here is the brake release to put Shane's chair into manual or to put it back into like drive so that he can drive it. We have it labeled for when we fly on an airplane and the people have to put it into neutral to push it and then put it back in to lock it on the plane so that it doesn't roll around in the underbelly of the plane. It's also the best way to defeat Shane if he's being annoying or rude. You just pop it into neutral and you can put him wherever you want. We got my sexy Carhartt book bag. I am obsessed with this book bag. I just love the color so much. It's too small. You replaced a nice big one with this small one. I know. You love it. It's almost impractically small. Every time you get a compliment on it, I see your eyes like light up and you get a little bit more convinced that this is the perfect book bag. <laughs> and then the handles of my chair, which allow for the hanging of Hannah's purse and bags and other things that Hannah needs to hold but doesn't want to. For anyone that's ever said, you know, Shane doesn't contribute to this relationship. Think about the fact that Hannah has never once had to bring the groceries inside. I can carry like 90 bags full of food on the back of my chair. Yeah, I never have. I went to the mall with just my mom like two weeks ago and I bought something at a store and was handed a bag and I was like, Shane? Uh, uh, who was gonna take this? Cause I haven't had to carry a bag through the mall in like three years. Poor you. It was horrible. My what? fingers were cramping. I had like marks from the plastic. It's terrible. This is a difficult life you It was really terrible. So I, I, that is my actual favorite thing about your wheelchair. I'm obsessed with that. It's my favorite thing about you. Down here under my chair is where all the important stuff is, all the motors and the power turbines and the rocket boosters and the batteries, which are really heavy. The batteries weigh like 50 pounds each. Sorry about all the dust. Apparently we haven't cleaned this in a while. <laughs> well, now you know everything that you could possibly know about Shane's chair. There's nothing left, that's it. Yeah, it's almost like you're in a wheelchair now. <laughs> you're welcome.